longest tenured folks here. Uh, we're so excited to uh, introduce you guys to our Vice President and CTO within the Cloud Platform Business Unit, uh, Kate Colbert. Just like we've done over the years, right? We spent a lot of time working on databases to get databases to run great on vSphere. We spent a lot of time recently getting big data workloads like Hadoop to run on vSphere, to the point where actually now some Hadoop workloads actually run faster on vSphere than on bare metal. Um, so in front of you, you have, uh, who was uh, formerly an uh, executive member at uh, Yahoo, who's executive member at uh, Zimbra, He's also CTO at BEA, and now he's the CEO at Pure Storage. And we've had him a couple of times in these types of forums. He's great. So uh, challenge him, ask him questions, listen to what he has to say, and uh, get to know him. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Scott Dietzen, the CEO of Pure Storage. So, you know, if you, you look at the market for storage, most of the tech that's still used today was actually designed more than 25 years ago. That's a stunning thing. Today, if you go on Amazon, a flash drive is cheaper than a 15K disk. Virtualization is obviously one of the catalysts uh, for fixing it, right? Virtualization allows us to get to much higher CPU utilizations, provided the storage can keep up. And this is where virtualization really hammers uh, the, the storage because so much work was done in these software stacks like Oracle to try to drive as much of the I.O. to, to make it sequential um, as possible, right? And then, lo and behold, virtualization comes along and you, you, know, you slice uh, the CPU multi, uh, multiplex it across 10 VMs and you, you basically randomize the I.O. We, we, uh, we are at six nines of uptime and we have zero maintenance windows. I'm going to tell you two stories. It might feel a bit like a movie, so please have lots of slides. I'm going to tell you how, the, how, how distributed systems really work. But this part, this part of the part you care most about, we built a system, a space was built assuming one thing. We, we made an assumption when we built the system that scale out is going to matter. We don't assume a monolithic system connected to this platform. We assume you're going to have tens of thousands of small cores trying to speak to the system together. Or you're going to do very, very large IOs where we can shard out the load across a lot of small devices. Uh, one of the things that we do in this program is uh, bring uh, a cast of all-stars to talk to you guys about what's going on uh, with the state of VMware and just some uh, additional thoughts and uh, definitely um, you know, two key all-stars today. So one from VMware, which we'll talk about uh, now, and then after that, uh, the CEO from Pure Storage will come in uh, to talk a little bit later. As you look at the interesting things that are possible from a software standpoint, a lot of them are focused on agility, uh, focused on cost reduction, focused on the ability to move workloads kind of back and forth, distribute architectures across in terms of uh, making them more efficient. So whether you're thinking about things like IoT or things of uh, 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 new technologies that are coming to the forefront to support um, artificial reality or augmented reality, these are all technologies that we think will be increasingly software defined. Now the core thesis for all of this is some notion of virtualization. So the whole kind of concept of this thing starts really with the idea of some form of a container. And so think about that whether it is a traditional VM or if it's a new form of an abstract uh, Linux container. But the notion is that you will be able to take some grouping of compute, storage, network data, uh, put that together in a bubble. You'll be able to process that in some form locally within that enclosure. You'll be able to move things around as well as aggregate stuff. You'll be able to analyze this and then you'll be able to basically spit back some results and then you'll be able to remediate using some actions based on whatever knowledge and intelligence you're able to get from that, uh, the, the data that you capture from that bubble. I've been working with Oracle for the last 20 years and I've seen the evolution of um, virtual machines, VMware sp uh, specifically, uh, throughout the years. And it's a no-brainer. Uh, running Oracle and VMware is the only way to protect 
uh, your resource, uh, both from a server perspective and now from a, a database perspective. Frankly, I think whether you're running Oracle or any other application at this point in the IT world, we should be looking at the virtualization options that we have. So Oracle, definitely. Frankly, there's two things I learned. The first one is the ability in a virtualized environment to do things like your disaster failover and your replication in a much faster, more cohesive way than you can do in any other system that I've ever known of. Uh, the second thing is the ability to see the multiple layers of your cyber ecology, you know, of your, your environment, shall I say. Uh, to be able to look at one place and be able to see all that data instead of having to go to six different places or 17 different you know, people, it gives you a lot more power. I ran, personally ran VM back in, in the mid-80s on IBM mainframes. And then I came across VMware in the uh, late 90s and started using it to help me prepare for my job as a consultant. I try to set up different databases and troubleshoot problems and stuff like that. And it was a wonderful asset for me. And I used it for several different years. And now in the newest version, uh, Oracle is actually pushing the flash cache. So uh, as a total, it's no disk drives whatsoever. And I kind of think they see that as the future and I see that as a great future for the combination of VMware and pure storage working together in that realm. I'm amazed at how quickly that stuff works, how easy it is to set up and use. And it's, you know, it, it's set up to work. It's not one of those things that you order something out of the box and then you spend three months putting patches on to get everything to work. It's set up to work directly with Oracle. So I think that's an easy transition to put that in place. And I think it's a good answer for many people to do lots of different things. So I believe running Oracle on vSphere is a very viable option for the DBA um, and especially for the data centers. We're moving things around all the time. I've learned about things with the motion to move to different servers um, and just the performance and the things that I would have been concerned about. Um, I think it provides a great technology to run Oracle databases. I've been very impressed with the forward thinking and the innovation um, and the fact that you're not stopping with what you have already in providing products. What do I think of running Oracle on vSphere and the SQDC? I could not, I would actually have to flip that question over because I would not be able to tell you why you wouldn't. Um, when I look at people nowadays who are still holding on to the world of that Oracle has to be on physical infrastructure, I think to myself, you just don't know yet. Um, let me educate you as to why this is such a better alternative because it is and always has been a marriage made in heaven. Best week I've spent ever. Almost every single presentation had the discussion of how security both at how it was built, how to access it, how to run it, how to limit it, and how to protect the company assets, which I thought was absolutely amazing. In fact, I think there are some real benefits that can be re realized running with the vSphere. Those being that we can control and audit who has access to what. We can reduce the segregation of duties. So if you have no reason to be here, we can put you out there. Um, you can go from top to bottom, uh, which I was really impressed with. And it's really just about understanding how licensing works, how the database can run successfully on a vSphere implementation, and in many cases working with a partner that can work between your company and Oracle and make sure that uh, you're following all your contractual obligations and at the same time maintaining a, a good relationship with the vendor.